The elevator pitch gets its name because it should take you 30 to 60 seconds to pitch your idea. The same amount of time it takes for an elevator ride. This is such a small window, you have to make sure that you are able to get your point across concisely and accurately. Now, an elevator pitch does take a little bit of thought and some skill. Venture capitalists and angel investors hear a lot of business pitches. You want to make sure that your pitch stands out and grabs their attention. Why should you have an elevator pitch prepared? You never know when the opportunity will come when you will come face to face with the person that can make your pitch a reality. You have to be prepared for that scenario or else you aren't going to be able to capitalize on the situation. Daisy Wademan Dowling, contributor to Harvard Business Review, gives five key things to know to make your elevator pitch successful. The first is to practice, practice, and practice. Very few people have the oratorical power to make a compelling 15-second speech about their entire professional lives on demand and under pressure. Practice your speech 100 times, literally. Know it. Get comfortable with it. Be able to tilt it effectively for a different audience. Second is to focus on impact. Describing the impact you've had and can continue to have is much more compelling than talking about your number of years of experience. The third key is to ditch the cultural baggage. A lot of us have been taught by parents, teachers, or team-oriented corporate environments not to toot our own horns and to use we instead of I. Elevator pitches are all about I. You've got to get comfortable with bragging about your own individual contributions in a graceful way. Number four is to be slow and steady. Whether out of nervousness or a desire to cram in a lot of information, people giving elevator speeches tend to talk at breakneck pace, which is extremely off-putting to potential employers. Speak at a pace that shows your calm and confidence. You want them to think of you as thoughtful and deliberate, not as some manic babbler. And the final key is to see the whole world as an elevator. Too many people looking for jobs save their elevator speeches for job fairs and interviews. Remember the first rule of sales, A, B, C, always be closing. Give your elevator speech to everyone, family gatherings, a dentist waiting room, at the coffee shop. You never know where the next job will come from. It doesn't get any easier than that. So what are you waiting for? If you already have an elevator pitch, perfect it. If you don't have one, create it. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. I'm Kim Lai with PerfectBusiness.com reporting for Insight. We'll see you back here next week.